Hi everybody and welcome back to our YouTube channel. We are as always your hosts Arne and Carlos and believe it or not today <laughs> is a little bit more than two months since we posted our last update of the garden. I think we called it walking in the winter wonderland. Remember yeah, I think Arne? We did, yeah. Yes, it we start different we from this. It was completely different. We started here in our mailbox and then we walked all the way down to our house and then we walked into the house and we showed you the wall of snow that was covering everything. Thing. It was incredible and I mean look at the weather now and look at what it looks like now two or, two months later Yeah, two months later. It looks incredible yeah. Okay, so it may not look much up here, but this is the old platform uh, of our house or actually the old railway platform So uh, this is where we drive our cars into our property and Yeah, the outside doesn't look like much, but it doesn't matter because it's the interior that counts yeah. after all. And there's Freya of course back home and she <laughs> just goes like a little rocket very very quickly and let's look here and see what it looks like here Freya wants to swim maybe Freya maybe wants to do a swim or maybe not <laughs> Yeah, this is the lake in our garden. Well, actually, no, but we're not, not. We're not in the garden. We're yet. not in the garden right now. We are <laughs> out on the platform, and some summers or sometimes in the summer, people will drive their cars up here, and they will park it, and then they will fish uh, from the other side of our property, uh, which is quite nice. Yeah. Uh, it's good that the lake is enjoyed by more people, uh, in addition to our neighbor uh, and us. We're like three people that use this property or the lake. <laughs> So it's always nice to like get some fish around. Like three people live around the lake. Mm -hmm. so. so yeah, let's go That's and it. see a little bit more of what it looks like uh, outside of our garden. getting closer to our gate and the wall garden. Freya. And Freya knows we're home now so she'll probably just run in as she usually does. So let's take a break over here. Yes yeah, so here we are standing uh, next to the fence that we have or the and behind us you can see the garden. Or you can't see the garden. Or you can't see the garden. Well you can <laughs> still have a peek through. Yes. But in about two weeks it will be impossible and we will be, you know, completely in private in there. Which is really, really great. It's really nice. Yeah. So yeah, it's been such a crazy uh, time. We went from uh, uh, snow, about one meter of snow on May 1st, to no snow on May 11th. We were away for, the, for that for period. We went to Italy days. for holidays. We left on May 1st and when we got back on May 11th, the snow was gone and the, uh, the lake melted around May 16th. So it's not a long time ago. Uh, and we thought it wouldn't be spring this year because it was so much snow. Yeah, we've never had as much so snow as this year. We were ready to leave again. Yeah, we were ready to pack up and go to England and stay there for a few months. <laughs> so, you know, the, the miracle of summer happened or actually late spring. Uh, and it's just been amazing. So uh, we're very grateful for this wonderful weather, but we're also a little bit scared because, you know, I mean, going from spring, or sorry, we're going from winter to summer in 10 days is a very scary That's thought. That's unusual. It's too scary to so, even think about. Should but, we walk to the entrance? Yeah, let's show yeah. a little bit more, yeah, about our entrance in the summer, because summer we, we, we have a summer entrance now. <laughs> So along the fence we have a different kind of trees, which is very nice. And Freya, she doesn't know the difference between the winter entrance and the summer. We always go to the winter entrance. So cool. Oh, you see, Freya doesn't know the difference between Freya. the two. Freya, come da, come da. They have it, Scott. Welcome. At the 
today it's uh, actually quite windy, but that is very good because it's been almost too warm. Yeah, 26 degrees Celsius today, which is about 75 Fahrenheit. And that's warm up there. For Norway, that's very <laughs> warm. So uh, the wind is really a nice relief from the heat. It feels so delicious. It's helping. Yeah. So let's go, uh, before we finish up here in the rock garden, let's go down to the terrace and down to the bathhouse to show you all what it looks like. The sun is now in the clouds, which is also very nice. This is where we relax in the evening. And we also have, we need to have like samples we're preparing for a new collection for Rowan. With kids seal case. Yeah. Really nice. So and here you can see the view. Yeah and uh, somebody said a really cool thing about our terrace. They said it's the best cocktail terrace in Norway and I have to agree. I love mixing. I think we can agree. Yeah it's, it's cool to it's mix really nice. cocktails here in our great terrace. <laughs> and enjoy the beautiful sunset that sets over the lake just in front of the sofas that we have here. It's really, really amazing. And this is our bicycles. We try to be sporty. Sometimes. Sometimes. And the greenhouse. Yeah, and between the bathhouse and the greenhouse, we have a little outdoor space as well which is great for when we have guests uh, and lunches. It's a great lunch spot. We have a lot of sun there. Uh, lately, we haven't been able to use it because it's too much sun. Yeah. And here we are, the greenhouse. It's a little bit empty at the moment, but you know, we're still very early in the season. It feels like it's been summer forever, but it, uh, it is very early in the season. So this will all grow. We'll have great tomatoes. And the lamp we made. So we're in the greenhouse and we're going down to the bathhouse, bathhouse. which is a, a space that we want to show you. Well, not inside, but we'll show you what the outside <laughs> looks <Yeah>. like. <laughs> And here we are on the porch of our uh, bathhouse, yes. which is not a bathhouse anymore. And Arne built this porch for us uh, with his own bare hands. So. I tried to help him as much as I could, but I am all thumbs. I'm not very good with um, carpentry. I haven't built houses before, so I just found a book. And did it. And did it. And look what I made. Yeah. Ooh. And we have a bird. Yeah, that bird is a stuffed bird that we are trying to use to scare <laughs> away some swallows that are trying to build a nest. I don't think it's very charming. I don't think it's very attractive to have that bird hanging there. But at the moment, it does do the trick. It the swallows the are not. The job, so. They're not building their nests there and pooping all over our terrace. <laughs> so we're happy. Uh, and, and yeah, I mean, it's a lovely little terrace uh, and it's great to relax. This is our Mexican hammock here. Yes. And... We got this from uh, we got this from a, uh, a store in Mexico that was fair trade, and it's really lovely. So this is a normal day in Carlos' life. You yeah. can call this his home office. Yes, I love this hammock. <laughs> it's not my home office, but I do want to take a nap here every day. It's your home office. And maybe Arne can give me the the phone because we're doing this on our uh, on our cell phone and I will show you the view 
that I have when I'm lying on that hammock. Can I have the phone on it? And here you can see the lovely view <laughs> that I have yeah, with the, with when the, I'm in my hammock. And when the hammock is swinging, I get you can very get seasick. Actually, Arr. I get very sleepy <laughs> and I just want to fall asleep. <laughs> and it's just lovely. This is what summer should be like every day. So we're back in our stone garden and now it's starting to be a jungle in here. There's still a few flowers, but it's early in summer. It's very early. I don't very think this early. qualifies as summer in Norway yet. I think we're in late spring, pre-summer. It looks like it's in the beginning of June. Here we are sitting down on the stairs uh, of our little feed the fish place or offload, upload passengers on the canoe because uh, those are the two things we usually do here. Uh, it's lovely to sit here early in the morning with a cup of tea or a cup of coffee and uh, feed the fish with some old stale bread or something like that. They really enjoy it and, and so do we. And the fish looks really nice when the sun rises because then it shines on directly yeah. the sun shines directly on the fish and you can see all these nice colors it's very very this inspiring. is our aquarium yeah. and we've got one last place that we want to show you sun has been in the clouds but the sun is coming out again and as soon as the sun is out it gets really really hot yes. so come and let's show you let's our go. final place uh, in this special update of our garden Yeah, and here we are. This is the last place we wanted to show you in today's update. This is a very special place. It's got little steps down to the water. And when I turn around, I get this amazing view of the lake. And it's just wonderful here. And a lot of people ask us, do we swim in the lake? And Carlos, what's the answer to that one? Yes, we do. Oh. Oh. Delicious. <laughs> Arna, come on in. The water is wonderful. Okay. <laughs> if you say so. I do.